fucking Christ. I was not expecting that to go down. <laughs> Benny Monster, Rockford City News. What's going on here? Yeah, man. To the fourth floor now. Jesus. Ketamine James. How, how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing pretty good. Today we're going to be teaching you how... Today we're going to be teaching you how to get a job. Beautiful. Now, depending on what you want to do when you first join... Oh, you have some options. You got, uh, you can be a firefighter, you can be a bank guard, you can be a police officer, you can be, um, a vehicle repairman. You know, everybody always needs their car repaired. Like these guys here, they must have something wrong with their uh, vehicle. What you'll do is you'll come to this location. You can walk here, you don't need your car. Okay, well I guess you'll talk to this guy then. You can be a vehicle mechanic at uh, player level 1 and you can be a tow truck driver at player level 15 and then a towing manager um, player level 15 but you have to unlock the tow truck driver uh, you have to get you have to max out your level for tow truck driver so it makes sense you start from you start as a mechanic you work your way up to a tow truck driver tow tow truck driver and then then you can uh, one day be the manager making the big once you make it up to a uh, tow truck driver, you come over here to the garage, you come over here to this guy, and uh, you'll be able to uh, choose from a uh, list of uh, cars for that. Now, to be able to drive any vehicles, to, to be able to drive any company vehicles, if you get a job and it has some sort of vehicle that you'll be driving around to do your job, you'll need to get a career driving license. And you, there's a couple of ways you can get them. Um, the cheapest way to get it is to come to this guy here. He's in this alleyway in between the bank and the firehouse. Right here. Um, talk to him. And he sells a uh, fake career driving license. Those are $300. As opposed to the 3000 something you'll be paying for a real one that never goes away. This one will expire. Uh, that's why they're so cheap. So if you get pulled over and your fake driver's license is expired, um, depending on the cop, something might or might not happen to you. You can also get a fake driver's license, which is what I started with. But eventually these things will expire and cops will just make you buy an actual driving license. So I guess drive carefully and it won't be a problem. You don't even need a driver's license. Oh wait, no, you do. You need a driver's license to spawn in a car to be able to buy one. So it's important to have at least a fake one so you can buy a car. If you really want to, you can actually get a real one here at Town Hall. You come in here and you talk to this guy right here. No, that's the record. You can change your name here. This guy right here. This is where you get a real driver's license, the service office. I'd like to take my career driving test for $1,500. He'll give you a list. Just answer the questions with you know common sense, and you should be able to get your license no problem. And that's a permanent license. You won't have to worry about uh, cops telling you it's expired or some shit. I would like to renew my standard driver's license. So then I think actually now they've made it so standard driver's license do expire after a time and you have to renew them that costs 750 i should probably do that but i don't i don't give a shit i would like to take a standard driving test okay so career driving test so that would be for the career and then this would be your standard driver's license so it's 5000 for a standard driving license to be able to buy and own a car and then it's 1500 to be able to drive company vehicles for jobs um, you can become a disc jockey, which you unlock at player level 5. And uh, what this job is, is you can go, you can get this job, then you go to the store and you buy a radio, and then you can broadcast your voice in uh, YouTube songs to uh, people who are listening to the radio at any given time. Um, ballot Bureau, you can run for mayor, it costs $300, and then uh, people can come over to these uh, machines and vote for you. It's very dangerous to be a 
Yeah, that's kind of what I was assuming was going to happen too. So when you get tickets, you can no longer purchase property or spawn your car in once it's gone. You there, officer. You gave oh, yeah. me a ticket. Yes, Billy. Sir. What have you, what? Yes. Tisk, Ten dollars, man. Tisk, Billy. XP, okay. I'm not gonna sell guns to Billy anymore. He's probably gonna get salty at me. I don't sell guns to cops. Now, if you've decided that you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't want to be a, uh, you don't want to be a mechanic, so you, uh, you decided that, you've decided you don't want to be a mechanic, and that's fine. Who, who wants to be a fucking mechanic anyway? You want to heal people, you want to help people, not hurt people. So you come over here to the, uh, Come over here to the EMS recruiter and uh, player level one, you can become a medic intern, which gives you the defibrillators and uh, the morphine, so you can go around uh, resurrecting people who have, you know, died or fallen. And then once you've done that, once you've leveled up your uh, medic intern, then you can become a paramedic, and those get to drive around. They get to spawn in um, the EMT vehicles. Emergency medical transport vehicles, they get to spawn those in and drive around and, you know, assist the police in, like, raids and and, and things like that. You can't combat uh, revive, though. But uh, after a raid is over, a medic will go in and, uh, you know, heal uh, the, the... EMS director is the, uh, basically, exactly as it says, you'll be uh, at the hospital or, you know, with... And the paramedic, you know, assisting the, the medics and, you know, just generally directing people. You'll probably receive uh, messages from uh, police chiefs, you know, directing, tell, telling you where to direct your people, things of that nature. And this right here, if there's no medics on to heal you and you're in pain, you can come to the medical supplier. And if you are at the proper level, you can buy uh, small morphine or large morphine. Just like in real life. All right. Well, you've decided that uh, you don't wanna you don't wanna be a doctor or a medic intern or anything. you don't wanna, you don't wanna do anything. You don't wanna heal people. Fuck that. You wanna do something far more noble and respectable. You wanna be a Taco Bell truck. This job is so good. It pays and it feeds. You don't even need to worry about food at this point. You come over to this guy right here. There's only one level to this pathetic job, and you have to be player level 5 to get it. So, you know, a little bit of grinding, but it's worth it because you get to eat on the job as much as you want. You never starve being a food truck driver. You'll be the, you'll be the talk of the town. You'll have all the tacos and job. You'll come over here to this person. You'll spawn in your car right there. It'll come in, usually right about here in one of these spots. You'll get in. Then you'll back up, come over here, come all the way down over here. And you'll talk to this lady, and she'll give you, she'll resupply your truck. So you'll have, you know, food that you can either eat or sell um, to people. I wouldn't recommend eating your own supply, though. That's not good business practice. You can, uh, you can piss some people off. You, you never know. The Taco Bell managers might come and break your fucking legs for eating their tacos. You never know. Could be some manager in there that uh, doesn't want you eating his food. But, you know, you're hungry. And Taco Bell, Taco Bell doesn't pay that well, so you're going to be eating on their dime. I want to deliver mail. Because I come on a Gary's Mod server to deliver mail to the people who need the messages delivered to them. You can be a UPS driver. I know. A whole, you could, you could drive a, a fucking UPS truck. United Parcel Service. See, now... If you have a package, you can deliver it. If you don't, don't worry about it. UPS driver. You unlock this one at level 15. Quite a bit of grinding goes into it, but it is the most paying job I've been told. You can actually make a lot of money being a UPS driver, going around delivering mail. You can also role play as a mailman. You can go up to Richard's Drive when there's like a whole gang of people there just making LSD and shooting people. 
you could go knock on their door and say something like, hey, I've got your GTX 1070 that you paid $1,000 for during the height of the uh, Bitcoin surge. And then they'll probably shoot you in the There's a lot of different player economy jobs too. Like somebody's always gonna want their, you know, their plants watered. You might find a farmer who's like mining and farming. So you would offer your services to water their plants for him. That's just one role play job you can get. And there's a lot of those that you can kind of make up for yourself, you know. So everybody is always gonna need a service and that service is a good that you can profit from. Kind of how it works. Lots of choices here.